Hello everyone. Today we have a Harbor Freight special. This is the biker style shop seat. My current shop seat is terrible and I wanted to get something a little more comfortable so I saw this for a little while in the store. Figured I'd pick it up and uh, see how it works out. It's uh, 21 inches at the base height. At the top height it's 28 and a half inches. It's got a solid chrome base to it and uh, seems pretty comfortable. The capacity is 350 pounds. Okay, so let's test this seat out. Right off the bat, it feels pretty comfortable. I'm on the highest setting right now. It probably had a three inch drop from me sitting on it. Just to give you a little bit of backstory, I am 250 pounds, so that is to be expected. Still 100 pounds under the weight limit. So let's go all the way down to the lowest setting. See, it swivels pretty good. Yeah, not too bad. All right, let's see how it moves around on the floor with the casters. Whoa, okay. That wasn't too pleasant. Uh, let's take a look at those real quick here. Um, they seem to roll just fine independently here. Nothing's really binding them up. It just seems like the casters themselves, you can tell. Yeah, these are probably the worst casters I've ever seen. I'm going to have to get different casters for these or some other type of uh, nylon wheel, something that'll roll a little better. Yeah, these completely are, these are terrible. I wouldn't recommend these. Uh, the seat, they still feels pretty, pretty good. Um, I do feel a little bit of cutting into my legs right here onto the side. So right here I'm feeling cutting. And uh, oh yeah, here's the problem right here. So if I push down like this, there's actually a really hard ledge right here. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not good after a, you know an hour or so of being on this or some type of time that's going to get really uncomfortable I don't know if I can keep this in my shop the way it is I'm gonna to have to figure something out with this chair it looks very comfortable but this in its current fashion is not comfortable let's see if I can come up with a fix okay so the only way I can figure out a fix for this is to take it apart see what we're working with and then come up with a game plan Let's get started. Then we can see what's under it. Nice little body trim puller will do the job pretty well here, I'm sure. Okay, now that we've removed the 767,000th staple, we can start to move on. Good lord, those are the most staples I've ever seen in something. So, okay. All right. So before in the video, this is our problem. That's our problem. I got two choices. I could build up right in this area here, maybe uh, sculpt it a little bit, and then put the foam back down on top of it, and then uh, you know make it comfortable. Or I could come in right here. I could cut this off. Cut these off reshape this steel and re-weld everything back together here okay so here's what we're going to do after using the most scientific measuring methods available to man ah there we go it feels good this piece of wood here well not this piece but I'm going to put a piece of wood covering this whole area it's going to bring it up a little bit higher to this ridge and then I'm actually just going to uh, shape it down a little bit to the edges it's going to go a little bit over here it's going to give a little bit more seat area it's going to eliminate uh, the cutting into the legs first step let's make a template we want to shape it right inside
And now I'm going to cut it a little bit wide here. Template, wood, wood, template. Seemed to work out pretty good. Real test, let's see if it actually fits on the seat. So we know we're leaving this in because that's what we made the template off of. Throw that in there. We secure this down. We're going to shape this a little bit. Make it a more of a taper so... Eh, you know what? I think, uh, I think I'll just be able to sand that pretty easily. And uh, we'll come right back and you'll see what happens. smooth now has a nice angular point to it the lines are nice it sits down in there I think this will work out great whoa what's this boom got the seat back on got the foam on have to apologize though the battery died when I was putting the foam all back on so you didn't get to see all that magic happen. However, you do, you do get to see some of the finished product here. Now I haven't stapled everything back together but don't worry. I've got 657,000 staples that I can put in this the same way that they put in it. so I finished the chair or at least the seat of the chair I'm gonna to have to finish the wheels at some other time I have to go to the store and find wheels that'll fit uh, either with the same threads or I'll just tap new threads into uh, the sockets at the bottom but the chair came out fine the wood tapers very nicely to the steel uh, there's no longer any type of pressure going up on the bottom of my thighs uh, it you know it, it feels a lot better I feel like I can sit on this for many hours and work on something tedious. Very satisfied at this point and look forward to uh, the wheels at some other time. I appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.